In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the initial updates that I'm going to do to this vivarium. My name is Nick Pulaski. Ever since I was young, I've had two passions, wildlife and filmmaking. My goal is to combine those two passions to make wildlife content. My passion for wildlife and my collection of exotic species is constantly growing. Come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun. Seeing the beauty of our natural world. So I've gone over this build in the past. Basically what it is, is it's a 29 gallon vivarium that I built. And what I basically built it out of was scrap pieces that I had for my paludarium, which is going to be the next thing that I work on after this guy. Basically, I just want to test some things on a smaller scale before I get into something bigger, just to make sure that everything is done correctly. So it's really just trial and error. I've always wanted to get in vivariums and I wanted to get something more self-starting and really cool looking and vibrant and kind of like a centerpiece kind of thing. And it just never really worked out due to like time, reasoning, and uh, really I just, couldn't keep anything alive. And by struggling to keep things alive, what I mean is plants, not animals. I always struggled with keeping the plants alive. So what I basically am doing now is I'm just trying to keep some really simple plants that go with basic lighting and try to really bring this thing to life. Now I have some good friends that are really experienced keepers in vivariums and like bioactive lively setups. So basically I'm doing the same thing with this guy and we're just going to see how it turns out. And like I said, this is just going to be a basic video just showing you guys what I'm doing to start off this updated setup. Now it's gonna be a slow process to grow everything out and get things rolling but in the end it's gonna look really cool and I'm so excited to get this project going so let me show you everything that I've done so when I started setting up the natural aspect of this build I first started with putting down a layer of organic potting soil once the soil was in place I put down a layer of sheet moss but the moss eventually started to look bad it started drying out it started browning it just didn't look as great now though that being said there is still some growth that you can see on the glass and that's just all the algae and plant material growing on the sides but essentially what the goal is is to remodel this and not necessarily taking anything out because it could decompose and help with the other layers on top of it, like for when I plant plants. So I initially started with adding another layer of organic potting soil. And what I did was I spread that all around the vivarium, going about another half inch deep. And after that, I threw in a mixture of dead leaves that I purchased actually from Josh's frogs. Once the soil and leaves were in place, I then did a light misting in the tank just to help the soil sit. Then following the misting, I then threw some leafy greens inside there. And the reason being that I threw the leafy greens inside there was because I picked up some orange isopods to throw in here as well. Now what the orange isopods are going to do is they're going to help serving in the bioactive setup. And what I mean by that is they're going to help break down the dead material that's in the tank and keep the tank looking fresh, which was the goal for them to start for this vivarium. I dumped them directly on top of the leafy greens so they could find their food source and just simply watch them move about the enclosure. They all completely scattered in different directions. Now the cool thing about this species of isopods is they actually don't just burrow in hide all day. They're actually quite curious and you can actually see them wandering around the enclosure. And with them being orange, it's easier to see them. After that, I did another quick misting, and then I put in two plants. Now, I'm still very ignorant on plant species. Now, I've asked a couple buddies of mine, and they don't know exactly what these species are, but they are a houseplant species that are kept in vivariums that I have seen in the past. So they are totally safe for animals down the line. And after I planted these two, I sprayed them down once more and just let them be. And these plants should do well with the basic lighting that I have. And in time, we'll let them grow out, and we're going to grab more plants, and we're going to keep growing this thing out. But for right now, this is the initial things that I wanted to get done in this enclosure. I wanted to let the isopods grow and breed in here and get comfortable, just so I have an abundant amount of them and down the line too I also want to get some java moss or some sort of sheet moss and plant that all across the flooring of the vivarium just so that the soil doesn't move around as much and it looks more green inside the enclosure and with all that being said that was it I just want to show you guys something really quick today of what I'm doing and just kind of doing a little bit more besides like the reptiles just trying to do some other cool things as well so thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments I'm happy to help however I can and if you guys could do me a couple favors if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel I would greatly appreciate it, as well as follow me on my social media. I'll leave links down below. And what I'll basically be doing on there is I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on in here, as well as in other videos down the line, and as well as all my other projects that I'm working on. So thank you guys again, and until next time, I will see you guys soon.